So this is gonna be my shrimp scampi with zoodles. And I'm gonna start with my zucchini noodles. I've already washed them. I'm gonna cut the edges off. And then I'm gonna use this spiralizer. So these are the sizes on the spiralizer, spaghetti versus fettuccine. And I'm gonna use the spaghetti side because that side, um, those noodles can cook just a hair longer on the fire. Like with the fettuccine, they're gonna be a little bit thinner and they're gonna get translucent like way too fast and they're gonna be like um, soggy. We don't want soggy. Okay. So that's that. Please share this video with your friends if they have a spiralizer or if they like to use zucchini noodles. So I have cut both ends off of it. And then this one is a little bit bruised. So then I'll take this little bruise off of it. And then I'm ready to, to uh, use the machine. Now this little thing is going to like the teeth at the bottom or whatever is going to stabilize the zucchini as it goes through. So I'm going to start by sitting one in here and then holding it on there and it's going to get loud. So these are the ones, it's super thin. You see, it's really thin. So these are the ones that are going to get opaque pretty fast. Okay, so I'm going to dump that out and go with the next one. Okay, set it back up. I'm gonna use this set of teeth. You can do it! Boom, boom, you can do it. All right, here we go. Okay. So when I cut it off, it's gonna be like a little spiral at the bottom, like a little cone. And then I usually just cut this cone up and put it in there. So let me show you what this one looks like. So just take all of the parts of loose. And then, so this one gives you like um, a smaller, more spaghetti-like noodle. And this is the one that I love to use. Okay, so now that we have that and I have demoed the machine, I'm gonna push it back out of the way and start cooking. So the first thing I'm gonna use is olive oil and I've already, my pot and my pan has already been on the heat for a second, okay? Put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there and I am going to start with the shrimp. So I got these shrimp from a local seafood market and I peel them and devein them, and I'm going to put them in the fire in just a second. So a piece of zucchini noodle hopped in the, in the fire. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, so I am going to start with garlic. Of course it's garlic. Okay. All righty. So stir the garlic around a little bit. Now the garlic is gonna burn pretty fast, by the way, but actually all of this stuff, this is such a really quick meal, all of it burns really fast. So put the garlic in there, let it cook a little bit. It smells delicious. This is starting to brown, so I'm gonna put the shrimp in there. All right. So once I get them all flushed, I'm gonna leave them on this side until they start to like turn a little white and then I'll flip them over. So while I'm doing that, I have some cherry tomatoes that I cut in half and then those will be going in at the end. And I'll just keep this going for a little while. So for the people that say that they don't like to eat leftovers. This is a quick and easy meal that you can cook like every day um, after work. If you work like a nine to five or like a shift that I work, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can just come home and cook it, but you would want to prepare something in advance. You wanna have the shrimp peeled and deveined and have your tomatoes all cut up because you don't wanna start from scratch after a long day's work. 
I'm going to put a little bit of salt with less sodium, 50% less sodium in here. And let it stay on that side for a little while longer and then I'm going to flip it. So if you just come to my page, I often cook meals that are quick and easy to help you save time, to help you save money, and like the previous video that I did, to help you fit in your favorite pair of jeans. And like I told you, each week on Fridays, I will now be discussing my weight loss journey using meal prep. So that's pretty amazing. So I'll give you a breakdown every week of what I've been eating and how it's been working, how much sleep I've been getting, how much um, physical activity I've been getting, um, and the, the, the thoughts that I've been, you know, journaling and telling myself. I'll share some of those with you as well. Alrighty. So those shrimp are on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pepper in there. This is just crushed red, pe red pepper that you can get from anywhere. And I'm just gonna put a few of these flakes in here. All right, that was tons of flakes. It's gonna be nice and spicy. <laughs> All right. So the shrimp are almost done, and then I showed you the two um, cuts of the zucchini. Let's see, I'll show you again. So this is a wider cut, and this is not the one that I typically use, but this is a wider cut, and then here's the other cut. This is my favorite cut. So this one is going to be, you're just going to toss this in here and cook it really fast. So these are the two cuts. Time to go in with the noodles. I'm going to leave the um, shrimp off to the side. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in the bottom of the pan. Just a little bit. And then put the noodles in. So you can use your, leave your noodles whole or you can break them up. And I tend to like break them at least once. Hey there. It's, um, this is garlic. Need a little bit more. Because it's going to like... And then you have to watch it. Once you start putting it in there, then it's like go time and show time. It's really fast after that. All right. So I just have my shrimp on the side to continue steaming. Um, and these literally take like 45 seconds. You don't want them to get translucent. You want them to remain firm. You're just really heating them up at this point. Okay. So you're just really heating those up because you don't want them to get limpy and lose their spirals or any of that. All right, so while those heat up, I'm going to get ready to put my tomatoes in there. Here are the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Just dump those in there and the show is over. Yum. So you stir it all together. And voila, just like that, you have dinner. So good. So I'm gonna put the final touches on it with some um, with some cheese. I have some Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm just going to grate it over the top, and it's gonna be all done. Whoa! Oh, look at that, delicious. Perfect. This is what you call perfection. Yum. It's all done. Thanks for watching. This is going to be. I forgot what this is. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna put it in there.